Okay. And a team have now been appointed as the implementing committee. They've already started implementing something that has not been passed as law. Something that has not been even considered in terms of regulations. I think that is utter contempt for the National Assembly. That is the perfect example of why we must send a warning to all those th who think they can bypass Parliament by bringing policy and implementing it before it becomes law. These regulations must not just be rejected, but they must be rejected with a very clear message that if you bring another set without consulting the relevant committee, without consulting the public, then they will be rejected until uh, doomsday. Thank you, Madam Speaker. The Honourable Member for Dagoretti South, Honourable John Waweru. Madam Speaker, I thank you. Madam Speaker, it is the English that say that you have not succeeded until your successor succeeds. And Madam Speaker, you performed exemplarily well in this committee of delegated legislation. And you are succeeding even further because your successor is actually doing an, an impressive job. Madam Speaker, I would like to start by congratulating the Committee on Delegated Legislation for such a good report that they bring to us. And we are convinced, Madam Speaker, we are convinced that these regulations ought to be uh, annulled in their entirety. Madam Speaker, if these regulations were just offending some regulations or offending a policy or offending a legislation, maybe this house would have been a bit kinder. But these regulations are offending the supreme law, the constitution. Madam Speaker, it is the constitution that requires that there should be robust public participation. This house has spoken severally. The seat you are sitting on has pronounced itself severally that public participation cannot be seen to just be a PR exercise. Substantive public participation on these regulations did not happen. Not only did the public participation not happen, Madam Speaker, on an issue that affects so many students, so many parents, so many families, there was no uh, demonstration that there had been a regulatory impact assessment done on these regulations. Madam Speaker, on that count, these regulations must be annulled. Madam Speaker, there is a lot happening in the education sector. And one key thing that has happened in the last few months is the presidential task force, Madam Speaker. It is making proposals. Proposals which would have found their ways in some of these regulations, Madam Speaker. The task force recommendations were blatantly ignored. They are totally ignored in these uh, regulations. And Madam Speaker, that forms another basis for now.